nais ko maging bahagi ng isang adhikain at maging isa sa gawaing makajos at masaya paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows tara na Viva Pater Dolorosa Virgo de la Pieta Viva Pater Dolorosa de la Pieta Ora pro nobis sa OLS ituloy ang saya sa hirap man at pandemya pagpapanatigay ay makakamtan kapit lang sa Diyos ng lubusan Ama sa pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay At kain ng Maria ang bagong Eva na Good morning. Please all stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for, for to beseech you, O Lord, Lord, your, your grace, grace into, into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to the incarnation of Christ, Christ her Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, 
through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Together. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of Dominador Guzman Sr. and Carmelita Guzman, Nancy Tan and family, Feli Cambao and family, Peruel de la Peña Santos Sildes Alegre families, Marisa Aboitis, Ofelia Doliete and family, Violeta Alonso and family, Liz Alba and family, Leonila Generales, La Arnie and Renmark, Rosemary Banta, Congressman Antonino Calixto, Mayor Emmy Calixto Robiano, Benjas Advertising and General Merchandise, Melinda Gao, Yi Arlos Martinez families, Salve de Jesus and family, Caballo and Chesvalias families, Linda Tianco and family, Mavi Guanzon, Jovenal Tolentino, Marjolino, Jesus and Remy Sabala, Jeffrey Lim and family, Augusto Lim and family, Tony Miranda, Raisel Alzo Flores, Earl Sebastian, Marilise Rivero, FCS, Terje and Lourdes Olsen, Kari Buri, Charlotte Buri Olsen, Annie, Katrina Cusi, Father Nonato, Caridad Empainado and family, Neil Roswell and family, Cindy Waldsmo and family, Elias Lucena Jr. and family, Mario Cusi and family, Genesis Elistrissimo and family, El Marcusi and family, Arvin Cusi and family, Maria Belen Endo and family, Corinne Tanaka and family, David Anabu and family, Vic Alan Yonoras and family, Marilu Lupisan Ocampo and family, Robert Calibuso and family, Randy Calibuso and family, Norman Reyes and family, Lisa Apello and family, Sister Oblates of the Holy Spirit, Sister Oblates of the Most Holy Redeemer, Daughters of St. Paul, SSP priests and brothers, OLSP servers and virtual parishioners, for all frontliners and healthcare workers, for the birthday of Cedric Calibuso, Andrian Alpasan and Teresita Vistan for the wedding anniversary of Elias Jr. and Marichelle Lucena. Eternal repose for the soul of the following, Lutgardo and Erlinda, Angelico and Estelita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Raul Jr. and Corazon, Jimmy Alba, Landrin, Karin, Manny Almendras, Jesus Olga, Ragsi, Maribel Alba, Dr. Susan Jane Cello, Medina Tapang, Ricardo Jr., Ricardo Sr., Willie Gamboa, Pedro and Angelina Ison, Jose Cortesa, Luisa Tan, Delphine Sr., Alice and Alfredo Ganapin, Gerson Lamis Caballos, Roberto Salameda Santos, Willie Fermin, Monsignor Modesto Teston, June Suministrado, Paolo Suministrado, Sister Chofil Garcia Salcedo, SFIC, Juanita Tan Ong, Leopoldo Uy and Antonio Mendoza, Alva Loyola, Mark Daniel Ferrer, Rogelio Flores Sr., Richard James Flores, Alberto Ferrer, Baby J. Shell, Juan and Puri Ledesma, Joselito Eslau, Russell Solomon, Edith Carpio, 
Marina Cuico, Fidel Car Carpio, Edwin Carpio, Ofelia Carpio, Rolando Carpio, Eddie Casanova, Purificacion Pura, Fernando Bansil Sr., Luna and Gloria Camansa, Francisco Angeles, and All Souls in Purgatory. Magandang umaga po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Iaalay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, deboto at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay iaalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, Ang mass presider ay si Reverend Father Dominador Guzman Jr., SSP. Ancients Antiphon Holy men shed their glorious blood for the Lord. They love Christ in their life. They imitated Him in their death, and therefore were crowned in triumph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we are commemorating the martyrdom of Pope St. Cornelius and Bishop Cyprian. And as we gather together to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's death and resurrection, I would like to personally celebrate this Mass in the name of the parish in thanksgiving for all our parish servant leaders and ministers who were involved in our fiesta preparations. We thank the Lord for their great generosity we would like to offer the Mass also uh, in gratitude and for the special intentions of all our donors, benefactors, and sponsors, and for the team that will be in charge in renovating the church for a shrine and a studio. We would like also to offer our prayers for the continuing health of Dr. Ramos and family, Miss Aurora Mangluk, Manglukmot and family, for the continuing health of Melinda Gao and family, and for the eternal repose of Pedro and Angelina Ison, Nicomedes Ablasa, and Pearly. Let us acknowledge our sins that we may be worthy to celebrate the Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who gave Saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, let no one have contempt for your youth, but set an example for those who believe in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Until I arrive, attend to the reading, exhortation, and teaching. Do not neglect the gift you have, which was conferred on you through the prophetic word with the imposition of hands by the presbyterate. Be diligent in these matters. Be absorbed in them so that your progress may be evident to everyone. Attend to yourself and to your teaching. Persevere in both tasks, for by doing so you will save both yourself and those who listen to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How great are the works of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure, all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. How great are the works of the Lord. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. How great are the works of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Prudent are all who live by it. His praise endures forever. How great are the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. A certain Pharisee invited Jesus to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at table in the house of the Pharisee, bringing an alabaster flask of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bath his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. 
When the Pharisees who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of a woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. And Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days wages and the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? And Simon said in reply, The one I suppose whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, You have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. And so I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven since he has shown, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. He said to her, your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Matapos ang dalawang araw na tayo po ay may mga special gospel readings dahil sa mga kapistahan, bumabalik tayo ngayon sa Ebanghelyo ng Karaniwang Panahon sa Chapter 7 ng Gospel of St. Luke. Ang buong chapter 7 ay kwento po ng compassion, compassion ng Panginoon. At sa ating ebanghelyo sa araw na ito, kung saan tumuloy ang Panginoon sa isang invitasyon ng pariseyo, makikita natin yung Compassion na yan ng Panginoon ay umaabot kahit na dun sa mga sa tingin natin ay kontrabida ng kanyang buhay. The Lord entertained the invitation of a Pharisee hoping na itong si Simon the Pharisee ay talagang bukal ang kalooban sa pag-iimbita sa Kanya. Pansinin po natin ang ilang interesting na mga detalye ng ating kwento. Agaw eksena sa kwento ang isang babaeng hindi pinangalanan. Hindi siya kasama sa invitasyon. Pero alam nyo po, nung araw na yon ng Panginoon, kahit na yung mga formal na mga bangkete ay bukas. Kaya po, 
pwedeng magkaroon ng gate crasher. At itong babaeng ito, nag-gate crash sa bangkete na hinohost ni Simon the Pharisee. At sapagkat hindi, hindi po posible sa kanya ang hayagan na makipag-usap kay Yesus, ang mga rabay nung araw hindi pwedeng makipag-usap sa babae in public. Yan ang kustumbre. Ang pwedeng kumausap lang sa rabay in public ay mga lalaki. Ganyang kapatriarkal ang lipunan ng mga hudyo. Kaya ang ginawa na itong babae ay pinagdiskitahan na lang ang paa. O? Oh? Yung paa ng Panginoon, yun ang pinagdiskitahan niya. Oh? And yung nga, kilala siya bilang woman of the streets. Ayan. Babae sa lansangan na may mababang lipad. Although, hindi sinabi kung ano yung kanyang mga naging kasalanan. By the way, ito pong babaeng ito na hindi pinangalanan na nando sa paanan ng Panginoon for a long time iniugnay ito kay Santa Maria Magdalena kaya nagkaroon ng kwento si Maria Magdalena maliban dyan iniugnay din ito kay Maria na kapatid ni Marta at ni Lazaro ng Betanya. Kaya naintriga din ang kwento ni Mary of Bethany. O kahit sa mga nagbabasa po ng Bible, maraming chismoso at chismosa. Pero sa katunayan, walang diretsyang ugnayan ang kwento. So in short, ang babaeng ito ay hindi si Santa Maria Magdalena. Ang babaeng ito ay hindi si Maria ng Betanya. We do not know exactly who this woman is. Oh, yun po ang malinaw. Now, sa pagtakbo ng kwento, pinuna ni Simon the Pharisee ang ginagawa ng babae. At bakit naman mukhang enjoy si Jesus sa pagkutingting ng babae sa kanyang paa? Oh, by the way, that was considered an act of foreplay during those days. Yun ay kaharutan. Para ba sinasabi ni Simon, Kasing rabay itong si Jesus, nakikipagharutan. Oh. Eh alam nyo, sinaway niya yon, kasi nga mapapahiya siya. Bagamat siya'y pariseyo, tinanggap niya si Jesus, inimbita. Bakit? Kasi ang paniwala ng mga pariseyo, pag tinanggap mo ang isang propeta, tatanggap ka ng pagbabasbas ng propeta. Ay mukhang huwad na propeta itong si Jesus. Hindi niya alam yung ginagawa ng babae. Tinotolerate niya yung pangaharot sa kanya ng babae. Kaya mapapahiya siya. Abay, huwad na propeta yata itong pinatuloy niya. Ay di mapapahiya sa sa ibang kasama niyang pariseyo. No? Pero alam niyo po, pinakita ni Jesus na hindi siya huwad. Sa paanong paraan, binasa niya ang laman ng puso at isip ni Simon. Sabi niya, Simon, alam mo, anya, sa totoo lang, di mo naman ako gustong i-entertain eh. Hindi mo nga hinugasan ng pa ako hindi mo nga ako pinaha, pinahiran ng langis 
na mabango. Alam niyo po nung araw, pag ikaw ay guest sa isang formal na dinner o pagkainan, ang unang pinapagawa ng host ay pinapalinis ang paa kasi naglakad kayo sa alikabok. Maliban doon, lahat ng guest pinapahiran ng perfume. Bakit? Galing kayo sa arawan para hindi kayo mga muy araw, ay magkakasama kayong kakain. No? At kahit na yung mga lalaki sa Palestine, paano nila binabati ang isa't isa? Chick to chick. Double chick pa nga ang batian. Kung talagang kaibigan mo, no? kita nyo kung paano mag-abraso yung mga Arabo. Ganun po yun. Eh, sabi ni Jesus, eh, Simon, wala ka namang ginawa sa akin. Sa totoo lang, hindi mo ata ako gusto rito eh. Iba lang ang pakay mo. Pinakita ni Jesus na siya'y propeta. Hindi sa pamagitan ng pagbabasa ng kasalanan ng babae. ko hindi sa pamagitan ng kanyang pagbabasa sa tunay na isip at damdamin ni Simon de Parisi. Mga kapatid, ano ang pabaon ng kwentong ito na punong-puno pala ng intriga? Anong pabaon nito para sa atin? Simple po, walang kasalanan ang imposible kay Jesus. Ulitin ko, there is no sin that is impossible before Jesus. Pero, kung there is no sin impossible before Jesus, forgiveness is not automatic. Oo, kaya ng Panginoong tignan ng lahat ng kasalanan natin, pero hindi rin naman automatic ang kanyang pagpapatawad. Nagpapatawad siya. Pero, di ba, kahit ni ikaw ay patawad ng patawad, pero yung pinapatawad mo, ayaw naman tanggapin ng iyong patawad. Anong patawad? Wala kang dapat patawarin sa akin. Ay pag ganun yung pinapatawad mo, wa epek. Forgiveness is not automatic. We have to be open. At yun yung ginawa ng babae. O, sa pamagitan ng kanyang kilos, sa pamagitan ng kanyang luha na ginamit niya upang linisin ang paan ng Panginoon, sa pamagitan ng pagpapahid niya ng expensive na perfume, oil-based, hindi alcohol-based na perfume ang ginamit niya. O? Sa pamagitan nun, pinakita ng babae yung kanyang openness sa anumang pwedeng ibigay ni Lord na kapatawaran. Pareho lang silang may kasalanan. O? Yung babae is guilty of sin of commission. Yan. Ibang klase siya mga omisyon, nakikipagharutan. Oh. Pero si Simon was also guilty of the sin of omission. Yun dapat niyang gawin, hindi niya ginawa. Pareho lang silang makasalanan. Parehong may pagkukulang. Pero ang kaibahan, itong babae, maliban sa pagiging open, she was contrite. Tunay na nagtitika. Tunay na nagsisisi. No? At dahil po doon, napasa kanya ang biyaya. Sa kanya dumaloy 
ang biyaya. Di ba ganyan yan? Dumadaloy ang tubig, pero sa nito lalabas? Sa posong nakabukas. Kahit na dumadaloy ang tubig, pressurized pa. Kung nakasara ang gripo, walang patak. Pero sa gripong nakabukas, bubuhos ang biyaya. Yan po palagay ko ang napakasimpleng pagkalabit ng Panginoon sa atin pong gospel reading sa umagang ito na mapapansin mo ay kaugnay din po ng unang dalawang narinig nating salita ng Diyos. Sa first reading, ang sulat ni Pablo kay Timoteo, ano sabi niya? Do not neglect the gift. Binigyan ka ng gift. Pero pag nineglect mo yan, eh wala mangyayari. Huwag mong sisihin ng Diyos. The great works of the Lord are always there. But the question is, are we truly welcoming the works of the Lord? Amen. We now have our intercessions. Merciful and compassionate Father, in the name of Jesus, who rose victorious from sin and death, we come to you in this time of COVID-19 that has disturbed and that has claimed lives. And with humility and faith, we say, Lord, we trust in you. Lord, we trust in you. That Pope Francis, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious will be constant teachers and examples of gospel faith, hope, and love that they witness to the great power of the divine spirit, even as they encourage practical and social actions to alleviate the effects of the contagion, we pray. Lord, we trust in you. That medical and scientific researchers, pharmaceuticals, doctors, hospital, and healthcare administrators be guided by heartfelt human solidarity and by their conscience in their task to find cures for the infected and ways to stop the transmission of the virus with vaccines and with every possible means available, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. That government officials and agencies in charge of general welfare and of peace and order be motivated by true love of all, that they always give disinterested service due to all, especially for the poor who are greatly disadvantaged. We pray. Lord, we trust in you. That the sick and their families find the value of family love that supports and heals, and the importance of sincere, continuing prayer that bears fruit not just in healing, but in the conversion of hearts and minds, we pray. Lord, we trust in you. That owners of business, goods, and services, and economic managers balance their money-making with greater efforts to help their community, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. That health frontliners, peace and order frontliners, and other basic service frontliners be sustained in their health and their family needs and in their moral and spiritual strength, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. That the dead find it on their rest, that their grieving families find solace in prayer and in loving and caring for one another, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, you. in you. That those who are healthy may not just be indifferent, but be constant in interceding for all and in sharing their time, talent, and treasure to sustain community and church services, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. In you. 
In silence, let us pray for our personal and community concerns. And for these intentions, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, you. in you. Father, we know nothing is impossible with you. In the name of Jesus, through the prayers of Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta and St. Joseph, stop this pandemic and dissolve this virus. Lead us to your path of healing, cure, conversion, and holiness. Glorify your name forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, accept the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in our trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. And therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with the host of angels, cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Medina Tapang, Elsie Beher, Dali Lim, Gloria Landoy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died because of COVID-19 virus and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, Mater Dei, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, protector of the Universal Church, with Peter, James, John, and Andrew, and Paul, and all the blessed apostles, blessed James Alberion, and blessed Timothy Diacardo, and blessed Elena Guerra, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and be safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always. And with your spirit. We give to one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body, we drink your blood. Let it not bring us judgment and condemnation, but health, healing, and protection in mind and body. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion Antiphon. See how rich is the saints' rewards from God. They died for Christ and will live forever. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
All the priests will give the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nasa loob po ng simbahan ng Our Lady of Sorrows hanggang bukas ang replika ng Nuestra Señora de Guia, Our Lady of the Way. At uh, ang Youth Cross at ito po ay inililibot bilang bahagi ng 500 years of Christianity sa Pilipinas. Ang Youth Cross nagpapaalala sa atin na ang kinabukasan ng pananampalataya sa susunod na 500 years ay nasa kamay ng kabataan, ang kabataan ng simbahan. At Nuestra Senyora de Guia, sapagkat ito po ang pinakamatandang Marian image sa Pilipinas. Talam naman natin ang kwento ng evangelisasyon ng Pilipinas kaakibat ng debosyon sa mahal na ina. Hanggang bukas po mananatili ang uh, dalawang relikong ito ng pananampalataya sa loob ng simbahan ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Kayo po ay welcome na gumawa ng inyong private visit. At uh, bukas po ay ihahatid naman po ang imahen sa parokya ng San Rafael. So, samantalihin po natin ang pagkakataon. Brothers and sisters, our Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City, mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po. God bless you. Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta.
Nais kong maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At mag-iisa sa gawaing makadyosa at masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Soros Pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus Na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritong Panas 